It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Okay, basketball fans, with me, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, I'm Rudy Johnson. You're watching 2K Sports, but you know that already. Tonight, it's the Houston Rockets as they'll be playing against the Warriors out in Oakland. And for Golden State, coming into tonight, a couple of goals they have. Stay aggressive on both ends, but also play with efficiency. It's a delicate balance, but they know it's the key. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. We've got basketball at Oracle Arena, the home of the Warriors in Oakland, California, live on 2K Sports. Great to have you with us, everybody, live on 2K Sports. Joined by Craig Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. And as things get ready to roll, let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's on the sideline. David? Well, guys, we know James Harden hits that step back three a lot, and Mike D'Antoni says, most coaches would think, okay, he had a tough shot. Live with it. That's some hard living. But it's one of the most lethal shots in the game. Kevin? Yeah, with that pump fake, he can get to the free throw line too, D.A. There's just no answer. Tonight featuring backcourts that can absolutely, Steve, light it up. When you were playing, who are some of the toughest guards to defend in the NBA? Well, Kevin, first you say to Michael Jordans, but the quick guards, because I was a 6'8" kind of methodical slow guy I didn't like the Iversons the Muggsy Bogues all those guys they just running around they were tough <laughs> so the Rockets win the tip now a chance courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go the starting five on the floor and so in the game for the Rockets Mello and Tucker are the forwards. Paul and Harden are the incredible backcourt duo. And it's Capella in at center. Pass to Cousins. Rebounded by Anthony. That's one of those where you think you've got it, you relax for just a second, and then you're kicking yourself. All sorts of time. Good on the jump shot. Anthony's got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for the Rockets. Thompson against Harden. Curry passes to Cousins. Back to Curry. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. Yeah, that's a tough call for the refs to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's, that's how they saw it. Here's Houston now. Anthony right side. He kicks to Tucker. Houston moving the ball around. Just five on the clock. Let's go. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Curry way outside. Rebounded by Tucker. Rockets have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Lob pass to Capella. And stolen by Cousins. Durant, the pass to Kerr. Thompson in the corner. Curry kicks to Green. Screen by Cousins. Back to Curry. Lock at six. Pass to Cousins. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Again, Curry missing. Only one of four to start, looking to find that rhythm. Well, DeMarcus Cousins, perhaps one of the biggest names in free agency this last offseason. Kevin, clearly the top big man available. It wasn't obvious what the market for him would be like because of his injury. Still not surprised he ended up here because he fits in well with this team. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Durant for three. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Durant's got himself on the board with three there. The beauty of Draymond as a facilitator really sees the entire floor. From deep Harden. And no good. And Golden State will come the other way. 
Yeah, and they're just hitting 20% of their shots. It's a rough, rough, rough start to this game. And Durant has just such a fluid release. Very efficient shooting the ball from that big ring. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. You know, Klay Thompson has the perfect mentality for a shooter. No fear, no conscience. Just routine, repetition, and a hunger to be great. State on D. Knocked loose and stolen by Cousins. All alone, and then Cousins with the dunk. Coaches have raved about this. Cousins' ability to have active hands and come up with strips. Rockets trail by seven. And Smitty Thompson not easily distracted when he's shooting. Well, growing up, he used to shoot all day in the rain. His dad played for the Blazers. Whatever his surroundings, he finds that calm in the storm. And how high can you fly? I mean, he finishes that one with some pop. GA after getting loose in the lane with a scintillating move. Now here's Curry. It's Durant on the wing. And there's the pass to Green. Shoots off the screen. And there's Stephen Curry on the assist by Green. Curry's got his second basket of the night. Oh, great ball movement there. Harden has a wide open look and a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. And defensively, this is a nightmare. He's already on a roll. Well, obviously, this was the strategy coming in. Feed him the rock and let him go to work. Now here's Durant. Five points in the game. It's stolen by Anthony. The feed to Tucker. The putback. Amon Green with the rebound. Warriors leading by five. Durant way outside. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Eight points for Kevin Durant. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. It's Carmelo Anthony on the way. And Durant sends it back. The standing reach of a center, the mobility of a guard. No wonder Durant sent that one back. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Rockets trail by 11. Well, finances may be the only thing that can slow down the Warriors. Those star contract placed them way above the salary cap. Big luxury taxes are on the horizon. Now Curry following Chris Paul's three-point attempt. And here's Green outside. It's good from long range. Green's got himself on the board with three there. Yeah, I don't know if you can do it any better on both ends than they have tonight. It's early, but they have taken full control of this game. And the fans here, they know it. You get a chance to see the elite court vision there. Excellent pass. Back to Curry. Green kicks to Cousins. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. No good on the three. Houston's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. As many expected him to, Carmelo Anthony choosing to opt into his contract, but his stay in Oklahoma City still came to an end. You know, it was pretty clear that Melo and the team just didn't mesh. OKC made the choice to let him go and save on the luxury tax. Melo might not be worth max money anymore, but he could still be a factor with this team. Catching up on the changes for Golden State. Bell is checked in for Draymond Green. Igudala comes in for DeMarcus Cousins. McCaw, he's checked in for Klay Thompson. And it's Livingston in for Steph Curry. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. And guys, they've come out and established a rhythm. And also their play calling has been on point. Well, the two go hand in hand. Matching your strategy to your personnel is key. Durant, the pass to McCaw. Back to Durant. Here is Bell. Up in time. 
And so it's the Golden State Warriors going into the break with a 10-point lead. Their defense has been active and effective. One of the most talented big men in the game, DeMarcus Cousins, talked about it. Being a player that thought he knew it all, <laughs> um, thought he was the best thing walking, and, um, you know, I think I've humbled myself a lot since then. So, um, of course, my game has grown, my knowledge of the game has grown, my IQ, but it's just the typical thing from a rookie. To and you know, Greg, you see it on the floor now when Cousins keeps his emotions in check. He's a force on the floor. And, Kevin, that's the key. When he's focused on the game and not the ref, he is almost unstoppable. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game, uh, stats-wise? Well, what's that saying, guys? Sharing is caring. Just terrific ball movement here in that first quarter. What they did, they left their egos in the locker room. It's a very all-for-one, one-for-all mentality. Katie and Bell are down low together. McCaw is out there with Livingston, and it's Igudala in at the three slot. And that's the group for the Golden State Warriors to start the second quarter. Gordon for three. And it's Igudala with the rebound. Warriors leading by 14. Here's McCaw. That falls. Nice speed that time from Andre Igudala. That's their third straight make off an assist. We've got plenty of great ball handlers in this game, but when you talk about the best of the best, Steve, who comes to mind great ball handlers in the league right now? I think Kyrie Irving, Steph Curry, James Harden, Chris Paul, Kimba Walker. Those are some of the names that stand out for me, and those are kind of the guards. But for me, now you're starting to see uh, the Giannis Antetokounmpo, the guys at that size, Kevin Durant being able to handle the basketball. So those names are the kind of the names that stick out for me. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Now a timeout called by Houston. And, and this is what you got to do. I mean, if it ain't working, call timeout, try to figure out what you can do to fix the problem. You know, also, it's just a chance to take a breath, regroup, get your mind set, and come back out fresh. in for Paul. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Gordon with it. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. That one goes. Count it. Oh, he had him spinning. He looks like he's dizzy after that crossover. Iguodala outside. Outside Durant from past the arc. No good. Shot missing. The Rockets go the other way with it. Passes to Gordon. 16 feet away. That one drops for him. Steve, you think about Coach Steve Kerr as a player, the 50th pick in 1988, and for his career, the best three-point percentage in NBA history. I played with him, and I played against him. Always had to know where he was on the floor. The perfect coach for this sharp shooting team. Sinks the three-pointer. McCaw has got five points so far. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. And the whistle blows, so a chance here for a three-point play. How about battling through the impact there and then willing that basketball in? And some changes here for the Warriors. DeMarcus Cousins comes in for Kevin Durant. And Curry subbed in for Sean Livingston. And a switch here also for Houston. Harden's checked in. 
Anderson outside trying to find Green. He's got it now. The shot, no good. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Come on, shoot. Come on. Now Bell in the corner. Igudala with it. Curry kicks to Bell. Screen by Cousins. Just four to shoot to the left wing. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Golden State. Clay Thompson comes in for Patrick McCall. The Rockets also changing it up. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Nene. P.J. Tucker comes in for Ryan Anderson. And Carmelo Anthony is subbed in for James Ennis. Yeah, just constantly attacking the paint. Harden does not settle. Iguodala kicks to Thompson. Outside, Green. Pass to Cousins. And Curry has it in the corner. Over Harden. That one wide left. Tough miss. He found some space inside the arc, but he could deliver. Green, and Green slams it in. You always hear about chemistry. That's a perfect example, knowing where each other is at all times. Got that one up quick. And seven points for Steph Curry. When you combine the usage with the accuracy, hard to think of a better three-point shooter in NBA history, Steph Curry. That's good, and the Warrior lead has got down timeout. to 11 on the bucket from Harden. And their shots Harden. are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Smitty, no doubt you had an outstanding jump shot. Talk about the difference in approach when you're a catch-and-shoot guy versus a, a pull-up off the dribble shoot. Yeah, catch-and-shoot is obviously totally different mechanics, Kevin. You're, you're waiting for somebody to pass it. You're obviously getting your mind set to be able to get yourself in position, get your feet right, and obviously shooting the basketball. Pulling up off the dribble, sometimes it tends to what the defense gives you. And that is a art to see guys like Steph and those guys, Kevin Durant and LeBron, who's added that to being able to be comfortable shooting the basketball off the dribble. That is the hardest part about shooting it, pulling up off the dribble versus catching. So as a great shooter, you think that is just, that, that's the very top. Your admiration is very high for guys that can do that well. Yeah, because uh, you don't have time to get your feet set and uh, get your mechanics right when the ball is in the air versus having it in your hand. When he puts everything he has into his defense, Cousins can be a force. Big, strong, and smart. Of course, he's going to block his share of shots when he's committed. 59 seconds left in the first half. Anthony left side. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Golden State. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. To end the run. And Capella the bucket on the assist from Harden. Harden's got his third assist on the night. Warriors leading by 17. Curry kicks to Cousins. Inside. Outside Curry. There's 21 seconds left in the first half of the game. Man, they, they just keep coming at you. Can they sustain this level of energy for the rest of the night? Well, as they fuel this lead, looks like the guys are feeding off the success. That keeps them going. And the shooting form of Anthony, just perfect. He's dangerous with the catch and shoot, and just terrific at scoring when in rhythm. And the Rockets with possession here. 19-point game. They get a hand on it, stolen by Thompson. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. And it was from three-point range where he did the most damage. He knocked down three in that. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. 
Hey, welcome back. The first half was all about Stephen Curry. He ended up with 15 points and one assist. He's definitely heated up over the last few games, and we're seeing some of that same recipe here tonight. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? The thing I've noticed more than anything is how well they spread the floor at the offensive end. Their spacing has been fantastic, and the end result has been a lot of good looks from three-point land. And now they've established themselves from long range, and the defense has to adapt. They're in really solid position right now. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Rockets. Ernie, I don't use this word a lot because, one, I can't spell it, but it was definitely a subpar effort for them on the glass. That hurt. They're serious about cutting into this deficit. It's gutch. And that should... Picture us Lake Merritt. The scene there as we welcome you back to Oakland. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. And they haven't needed a lot of shots to get their points. Just tremendous efficiency here in the first half. What I love watching is they are working for high percentage looks and cashing in when they get them. Taking a look at the Rockets, the engine of this team, Paul and Harden in the backcourt. Mello and Tucker are the forwards, and it's Capella in at the five down low. A shot by Curry, no good. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. One of the cases where height fails to tell you the whole story. He feeds it to Green. Back to Curry. Takes the three. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists in the game. Rockets trail by 20. Well, Steph Curry, widely regarded as the best shooter in the history of the game. I mean, he's been so successful playing point guard in the NBA at times. I think we forget that he transitioned from playing shooting guard in his younger days. To the paint and the dunk by Capella. With the basketball in hand, no one is more patient than Paul. Waits for his man to break free. And that Unleash Chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting time out, time out. play. You know, Greg, a lot of players can't make that switch from shooting guard to point guard. You've got to give Steph a lot of credit. Uh, he's worked tirelessly. I mean, we've all seen those pregame ball handling drills. He's still prone to a careless turnover, too. But on the plus side, he rebounds like a shooting guard. And today's point guards are expected to score much more than in days past. Curry with a strong contribution so far in this one. Yeah, they're going to have to find a way to run him off his spots out there. He is rolling. And the Rockets making a change here. Gordon's checked in. Rockets trail by 18. Paul passes to Capella. Shot by Gordon, wide open. Drills the three-pointer. Gordon's got seven points in the game. And coming out of halftime, coach said they wanted to start fast. Howell's four for four. Back to Curry. Latrey. Rebounded by Tucker. Rockets have gone four for four from the field since the halftime break. Terrific start to the third quarter. Poke loose. Gordon for three, and again, it's the Rockets from deep. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. On its way from Curry for two. It's good, only a few seconds into the shot clock. Curry's got 20. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Warriors leading by 14. Durant just inside the line. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. Houston's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Plenty of daylight on that shot. 14 points for James Harden. Got the vision, the timelessness of Chris Paul's game for many years. He's made everyone around him 
better. Timeout called the Warriors. Well, Steve, we have a viewer question that has come in here. It's Randy from Texas. And let me see if I can. Oh, he says, what's your favorite basketball movie? Oh, the fish that say Pittsburgh, Kevin. That's my favorite <laughs> basketball movie. There's a lot of them. Is it really? But I would say that was, that was that was probably number one for me. No kidding. And Durant just great at picking apart the defense. When they leave one of his guys open, he is quick to get the ball to them. Here's Nene. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Nene's got his first bucket in this one. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the court. Took him no time at all on that one. Durant's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Warriors. And uh, now looks like we've got an injury here, guys. We'll likely see him come out of the game. And that's the one thing you just really can't control or even guard against, and that's injury. It's an unfortunate part of the game. Our thoughts and prayers are with him. Evans, he's checked in for Golden State. And here's Anderson for three. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Here's Livingston. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Rockets trail by 11. And the foul on Jordan Bell. That is his first foul of the game. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Gordon kicks to Nene. And the rejection by Cousins. He is so reliable to Marcus making a play and making it look easy. Bell passes to Cousins over Nene. And there's Cousins. That's good on the assist by Bell. Cousins has got his second bucket. For Houston, they've gotten eight of their 11 shots to drop since the break. A great third quarter for them offensively. Bell, that's a two-pointer. It's rebounded by Houston. Not sure of the thought process on that one. Really bad shot selection. Well, you're playing for the team, not just yourself. They needed much better execution that trip down the floor. Offensive rebound. Paul, it's deflected. Here's Evans. Finished off the break. And a lot to like about that play, particularly how it ends. Yeah, at the rack. That's what you want in transition, a high percentage look. Now a timeout called by Houston. And the post-up game losing favor around the NBA, Steve. But for point guard Sean Livingston, that's his bread and butter. First, he has a size advantage most every night. And then he loves to get down there in the block. He has the vision to punish teams for trying to dig or double-team him when he's scoring. The Warriors making a switch here. Iguodala's checked in. Cousins kicks to Iguodala. A minute 20 left in the third. Here's Cousins. And count it. And a chance for one more at the free throw line. That's the move DeMarcus is capable of executing, using his strength to power through the contact. Gerald Green, he's checked in for Houston. Rockets trail by 18. Ball outside. There's the dish to Gordon. 103 left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Capella and the dunk by Capella. And, and the defense out of position on that possession, which allowed for him to get that offensive ball. Well said. Yes, he did. You're right, Greg. That's a tremendous jam on the putback. You know what? When you don't box him out, he will burn you for it. He threw that put back down with the authority. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Not letting his team down. He's been very strong. He just needs a little help from his teammates. Pass to Cousins. Three-pointer. No good on the shot. Good work defensively by Capella. Rockets trail by 14. Out left to the wing. Here's McCaw. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Anthony's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. 11 seconds left here in the third quarter. Livingston dishes to Iguodala. Here's Bell. Offline from the top of the key. 
And so it's the Golden State Warriors enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. What a night they've had. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. You know, it takes good vision and it takes good decision making right there. He showed both and he did so at a very high level. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. The tremendous pair of Curry and Clay in the backcourt. Down low, it's Green and Cousins. And it's Iguodala in at the three. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Further proof that you can't leave anyone in this league that wide open. Curry, wide open. No good from outside. You won't see him miss many of these. A wide open look from distance. From the arc. Harden, no good. And this is what he gives you, the ability to contest the shot without foul. Perimeter defense at a premium these days. You see the value in this kind of effort. Now it appears an injury out on the floor, and that does not look like any fun. Well, I mean, you really feel for him. I mean, and the, the entire team. Just, you got to hope for the best. Uh, I just hate seeing this, but no need to jump the gun. Let's see what it turns out to be. Hall's checked in for Capella. The free throw line is something that Iggy needs to work on. He's hit a miss from there. And it's Cousins with the foul. That's his first foul. Here's Anthony. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on DeMarcus Cousins. And the first one at the line is good. He's perfect from the line this time. Warriors leading by eight. Curry from deep three-point land. But they get it back. Curry on the wing. From outside the arc. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got four assists in the game. And he's on his way to putting up a big three-point total. And the foul called on DeMarcus Cousins. That's his third foul of the game. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Green. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Anthony, and it's Anthony with the jam. And if that doesn't get them fired up, guys, nothing will. Greg, just with the doctor ordered us, some high-flying annex to narrow the deficit. Not only does that dunk help in cutting into this lead, but it gives this team a real confidence boost, too. Great open look there. And Anthony is certainly capable of sinking the triple. The D has to respect that quick release and get out on it. Curry passes to Green. Curry kicks to Thompson. Now the pass to Green. Curry outside. Knocks down the three ball. Curry's got six here in this quarter. Three triples in the first half. Three in the second. Boy, do they add up. Hartenstein passes to Anthony. For three. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. I'll tell you, he is scorching the nets this quarter. Maybe that'll help wake up some of his teammates. A chance here to get a quick injury report. Let's get an update on Durant. What's the status, David? Thanks, Kevin. I just talked with the Rockets' head athletic trainer. And the news is pretty good. It does not look like a severe injury. He's definitely out for the rest of tonight, and he'll probably need some recovery time beyond that. Guys, back to you. Thanks for checking in, D.A. Injuries are always tough to deal with, but they're just a fact of life in the NBA. And he'll have a lot of support as he goes through the recovery process. They want him back as soon as possible. And we know how much better they'll be as a team when he's out of those street clothes and back in uniform. Catching up on the changes for Houston. G, he's checked in for Hartenstein, and it's James Edison for Carmelo Anthony. Free throw drop for Paul. You know, when Chris Paul came to the Rockets, a lot of people questioned if he and James Harden would be able to share the ball. Both known for being ball-dominant guards. I think you'd have to say it's worked out pretty well. Nene, he's checked in for Houston. There's Green with the three. The shot will not fall. So Houston will take it the other way. Curry against Paul. Paul is doubled. 
the 15 footer and yes it's good Paul's got four points now in the quarter and I think Chris Paul never comfortable with that ball dominant label Greg he never played with another guard who could create certainly on the level of Harden no doubt about it I mean Mo P JJ Reddick guys who were great shooters but really more off the ball players Chris needed to, to be that kind of a playmaker but with Harden he has someone just as gifted at creating baskets for himself and others no doubt about it he, he's been a monster from deep by and large the Defenders have done a poor job of running him off his spot. That's why he keeps firing. Now a timeout called by Houston. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Steph Curry. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, over that last break, I listened to Mike D'Antoni talk to his team. He told him, look, guys, we're running out of time. We're going to make a move. It's got to be now. Are you guys ready to make a move? They all nodded, and he said, then go take it. Kevin? I'll tell you, there's no quit in him when it comes to the offensive of glass. Holman here now for an injury report. Let's get an update on Clint Capella with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. I just talked with the Rockets' head athletic trainer. He told me that the injury appears to be a strained Achilles. He won't return for this game, and depending on the final prognosis, he may miss a number of games before making a return. I'll let you know more details as soon as I find them out. Kevin? Thanks for checking in, D.A. Injuries are always tough to deal with, but they're just a fact of life in the NBA. And he'll have a lot of support as he goes through the recovery process. They want him back as soon as possible. And we know how much better they'll be as a team when he's out of those street clothes and back in uniform. And the Rockets making a change here. Nene is checked in. Here's Curry. That falls. Nice feed that time from Andre Iguodala. Iguodala has got his eighth assist here tonight. Rockets trail by nine. Eric Gordon on the wing. Sinks the triple. Gordon's got 11 points here in just the second half. And so many of Gordon's shots come from three-point range because he drains so many of them. When, when you've had his kind of success from beyond the arc, you're always going to have the green light. And the Rockets making a change here. Anthony's checked in. Curry on the wing. We've got 123 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Kicks to Cousins. Iguodala outside. Curry outside. They get it again. Passes it to Cousins. Golden State moving it around. It's Curry. That time on the assist by Cousins. 34 points for Steph Curry. Stephen Curry, as soon as he crosses the half court line, he's in range. Moment here now for an injury report. Now let's get an injury update on Carmelo Anthony from our David Aldridge. David? Thanks, Kevin. I just talked with the Rockets head athletic trainer. He told me that he suffered a strain in his hamstring. They're using ice to help keep the swelling down. All right, David, thanks. Well, guys, certainly not the news his fans were hoping for. And not at all. I mean, it sounds like he's got a long road ahead of him in terms of his recovery. I mean, a devastating blow, to say the least. And just staying aggressive, continuing to extend that lead. They left nothing to chance. This is how you close out. Paul kicks to Anthony. And the rejection by Iguodala. And Iggy demonstrating his trademark defense yet again. Just a sensational shot block. And that's the look this offense is designed to produce. Always frustrating when you do everything right, yet just can't complete the play. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far.